Remember that common methods of heating require appropriate precautions. Open flame use has risks of combustibles, burns, and excessive noise levels. Resistance heating carries risks of high temperature burns through the exposure to ceramic chiclets, and the K-wool insulation used is a known carcinogen. Induction heating has electromagnetic fields, or EMF, that occur due to the alternating magnetic currents produced while actively heating. It is important to be aware of the safety precautions that are specific to induction heating. We are highlighting a few in this video, but it is not a substitute for reading and following all labels and the owner's manual. Implanted medical device wearers should consult their doctor and the device manufacturer before going near arc welding, spot welding, gouging, plasma arc cutting, or induction heating operations. Keep steel toe shoes away from heating cables or wear composite toe shoes. Keep metal jewelry and other metal personal items away from tool setup during operation. Remember that the material being heated has potential to produce burns to body. To handle hot parts, use proper tools and wear heavy insulated welding gloves and clothing to prevent burns. Do not sit, lean, or rest arms or body parts against coils. Manage the setback distances while induction is active. Visually inspect condition of hoses, cords, and cables before each use. Do not use wire or metal straps to secure cable. Instead, use plastic cable ties, tape, or non-conductive straps to secure cable. Do not hang cable on metal brackets, hangers, or other mechanisms. Stop using equipment if plug, receptacle, or cable is damaged. Replace cable if braid, red jacket, or bare wire is visible. To meet European directives and minimize EMF exposure to the operator, refer to the owner's manual to manage setback distances while induction is active. To learn more about EMF and induction, visit millerwelds.com for a bulletin on induction heating and EMF exposure.